हेलो स्टूडेंट आई एम वैशाली गणेश आखाड़े फ्रॉम बालाजी हाई स्कूल हिंगना रोड नागपुर ब्रिंग्स ब्रिज कोर्स एक्टिविटी नंबर फिफ्टीन फॉर क्लास एट सब्जेक्ट साइंस एक्टिविटी फिफ्टीन इज बेस्ड ऑन प्रीवियस लर्निंग लेसन मस्क्यूलर सिस्टम एंड डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम इन ह्यूमन बींग्स Let's understand what is muscular system. This is our muscular system and digestive system. This is our digestive system. Muscles are bundle of fibers that can contract and relax as required. We use muscles for various movements like talking, laughing, walking, jumping, throwing, etc. There are two types of muscles. Voluntary muscles. These muscles are used to perform functions that depends on our will. Second is involuntary muscles. These muscles are used to perform functions that do not depends on our will. There are number of muscles. like skeleton muscle heart muscle which is also called cardiac muscle smooth muscles these are some involuntary and voluntary muscles which perform different types of functions digestion conversion of food into a soluble form and its absorption into the blood is called digestion and for digestion digestion system is there the digestion system consists of the alimentary canal and digestive glands digestive glands are connected to the alimentary canal in digestive system there are number of organs like mouth pharynx esophagus stomach small intestine and large intestine they perform their work also in this organ there are glands which secretes some secretion for the better performance of digestive system like in mouth salivary gland is present which secrete saliva pancreas secretes pancreatic juice that is trypsin lipsin amylase etc let's revise with some revision question question number 1 is tell what will happen if the heart muscle in our body do not contract and relax and the answer is heart muscles work continuously without stopping when the heart beats it pumps blood to our lungs and the rest of our body but in between beats the heart muscle relaxes as it fills with blood it relaxes only for a moment after each contraction but that still counts as resting however heart muscles never stop working in case they stop working there will be no blood flow to the body organs and there are chances of multiple organ failure and eventual death question number 2 is classify the following actions that is cycling digestion of food respiration flying kite in voluntary actions and involuntary actions let's classify first voluntary actions are cycling and flying kite and involuntary actions are digestion of food and respiration question number 3 is if elderly people in your house have muscle pain problem what measure will you suggest to strengthen them and the answer is many patients also utilize natural pain relief treatments such as massage and acupuncture 
acupuncture. Older people can increase muscle mass and strain through muscle strain, uh, stretching activities, balance and coordination exercise. Question number 4 is, when muscle contract and relax while jumping rope, write it from your own experience. And the answer is, a jumping rope will work your calf muscle, abs, oblique muscles, forearms, biops, traps, shoulders, back muscles and chest muscles. Not only you are building strength in your lower body, but also engaging your entire upper body to control the force when you swing the rope. Question number 5. Write only names. First is, which organ carries the waste product out of the body after digestion? And the answer is, Anus. Second, gland which store glucose and the answer is the pancreas. Question number six is, the figure shows different parts of human digestive system in which part P, Q, R and S of the system food is mainly digested and absorbed. P is mouth. Digestion of food begins in the mouth. Q is stomach. Mainly proteins are digested in the stomach. R is liver. Liver just secretes belly juice. And S, smaller intestine. Most of the digestion and absorption of food takes place in small intestine. Question number 7. Rahul drank a glass of milk in the morning. Explain in your own word what action takes place on the milk protein during digestion. And the answer is, milk digestion begins in the acidic environment of the stomach. Where pepsin starts protein digestion by breaking down milk proteins into smaller fragments. These smaller fragments then moves into the small intestine for further digestion. Thank you student for watching this video. If you like it, please share with your friends and subscribe the channel.